over here and land a big kissy I'm, on my neck. I'm That's just, okay. I'm just jealous of you. You're 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 75 years old and you still look like that. Oh, that's sweet. Yes, Thank you. you. you Do you have object great, permanence yet, my child? What does that mean? Exactly. Okay. Hey, great show. Thank you for the views. We appreciate it. We're going to lose most of them right now, but Boys. but Austin and you can go if you want to no, or I'm not going to go. I'm going to You could watch this. I'm going to oh. Flawless J and chat. You're going to play along right now. This is Flawless J. The completion is round of applause for Flawless J. Yes. Not only does he play the video games, but he is a classically trained, uh, trained musician, vocalist. Yeah. Yeah? I think so. <laughs> Great. We'll round that up to a yes. Yeah. We are playing for the first time ever, as far as I know, I didn't Google it. Yeah. A karaoke. A And we're doing a round of applause for our karaoke, please. Yes. Chat. Gerard is plunging his face into his instrument. Ah. Uh, I could have said that differently. I'm there though, you're right. It's an, it's an instrument. At yeah, the end of this. okay. He's yeah. smashing his face into this box mm -hmm. and he is going to sing a song. Are we giving a hint? Video games, all video game themed. Oh. Chat, see if you can guess this Aquarioke classic. All right. Whenever you're ready, Jay. Here we go. Y'all ready? I got you here, chat. Seriously, oh. actually, oh guess my God, this. No. Stuff. Here we go. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Flawless. Thank you. Flawless. Thank you. Chat, um, yeah, they got, well, someone guessed F Zero? What? No, ban whoever said F Zero, ban them. We don't, <laughs> I know every view is precious, but not that person. Yeah. Um, that was very easy, Gerard. Okay. They all said Mario. Yeah. They got it immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Mario, right? Yeah, it yeah. was Mario. Okay. Couch, yeah. should we do something more difficult? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Don't come, Kevin! Okay. Okay. He had a lot of ca he had a lot yeah. of caffeine today. Totally. Yeah. Okay, okay, chat. You want one more before we get into the madness? Because we got a huge show today. Yeah. Massive show. All right. Let's Big do it. suns. Yeah. Big everything. But the query. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Okay. Chat. Get ready to go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is that a pause screen? Wrong pipe. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I I know what it is. I totally know what it is. Hold on, I want to see. Okay, I saw a couple correct answers. It's not Space Jam DVD. I a couple people definitely got it. Couch, do you know? Uh, I, hear, can I we hear don't. Time. <laughs> you want it? You want an encore? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Couch? I got it. I know what it is. <laughs> sleep paralysis. Yeah, it looks like a sleep paralysis. Uh, I'm gonna guess Sonic of No, uh, no. Not Sonic. Snake Eater. There are rings in it, but you kind of go. Oh, portal. Portal? Yeah. Yeah. Are you still alive? That was still alive. Yeah. By Jonathan Colton. Yes. That's. That's the one. Do you owe him money? No, I just love him, and I really hope to meet him one day. Oh, okay. Well, I hope he doesn't sue us for singing his song underwater. Please don't, Jonathan. We are fans. Yeah. <laughs> that is a genuine concern. We need another song. Yeah. Um, we have, like, two more hours of show, but I feel like we should pack it in. One more song! One more song! Okay. okay. We'll play a karaoke throughout the show if we can. Let's do it. Let's okay, do it. all right, but let's do one more. Chat. Go for it. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Yeah. Yay! Yay! I know oh. that one, Kevin. Ah, ah. Attack. I love that song. I, 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 I know that song. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's Attack of the Show. Yeah. Yeah. That's you can roll the do the graphic. Yeah, that is the <laughs> Three.
right over there if you can. Welcome to Attack of the Show. I'm Kevin. Oh, all right, I'm Kevin Pereira. We're live from the G4 Studios here in Los Angeles. If I sound unironically excited, it's because director Robert Eggers is here. He's going to be in our studio to talk about his new epic Viking film, The Northmen. And maybe he'll sing a song at an aquarium. Maybe. Doubt it. We should have cleared that in advance. <laughs> Plus, we're doing a giant egg hunt to celebrate the rebirth of the Easter Bunny. Okay, it's got a, it's got a twist to it. You'll see. And Kasim hit Hollywood Boulevard to advocate for restoring Sonic the Hedgehog's true design. <laughs> <laughs> Does Sonic get his teeth back, Cass? Or do we have to wait to find out? Oh. You've got to wait to stick around, and we'll tell you coming up later in the show. <laughs> okay. I love it when he does T's voice. And pay extra close attention to the show today because we are giving away free downloads of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands oh. from the Epic Games oh. Store. And these are first come, first serve. So you got to be quick, or dare I say, you got to be fast. Oh. Because. Sonic. We got oh, it. That's right. right. Oh, yeah, you guys got, got it. it. Got Gotta it. go fast. I was going to make it more of like a puzzle, like it's tough. But yeah, yeah, I was going to talk about it until I was blue in the face, hey. you know? And see if uh, see up. if the clues would ring a bell. Oh, or you're still going. He's going. Stop! Stop! If, <laughs> if, uh, Careful, you wouldn't want a blue bomber. Blue oh. bomber? Is it Sonic thing? No? Yeah! Okay. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're funny. Is there some candy out of this leg? Yeah, oh, yeah. Leg candy? Leg candy. Oh. Thank you. Okay, I'll follow us there. on all the socials. Send us mail to the address, right? Oh. Woo! Oh. Okay, nice. wait and see. Uh, send us <laughs> mail to this address right here. Yeah! And of course, say hello to the friends on the couch. Hi, friends on the couch! Hi. <laughs> Cut back! <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Uh, Please. I like that. I didn't know I was Jesus at the wheel on that one. I thought someone else was going to say anything. No. <laughs> okay, off the cliff we go. <laughs> Friends, Easter is this Sunday, huh? Have you guys heard of this? This Easter thing? Yes. I think it's catching on. I think so too. But it's important to remember it's not just about eating candy and eggs out of a prosthetic leg. Okay. Yeah. It's uh -huh. also about going oh. around oh. the net. <laughs> You're on fire today. Uh, you are on fire. In some places where the ointment didn't reach, my oh, friend. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. A couple of weeks ago, Gina and Fiona tried to do the tandem wine challenge. Yes. Do you remember this? They tried this? to. Well, they did it. Yeah, they, did. they did it. They did pull it off. I feel like Kasim and I really stuck the landing on that challenge. Well, Not okay, to, that's actually true. But but they they did it. Since then. The internet has really tried to up the stakes. Oh. Okay. Do it the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Evan, I've seen this video three times now. And it makes me so overjoyed that they didn't just start with two people. <laughs> right. Because clearly they weren't even close. They aimed big and yeah. they, they used martini glasses. Yeah. Which is just... When the boys were engineering that on the whiteboard in the kitchen, they no. really thought it was going to make it all the way to the back. Maniacs. Love it. 8.1? That's not bad. Yep. That's not bad. If you're watching this and wondering why numbers and math are appearing on the screen, it's because that's how you let us know which videos yes. you love. And we keep meticulous attention. Keep track of these. Spreadsheets. They match. Yes, yeah, so exclamation point followed by a number. That's how we get it seen. And there you go. Right, yeah, exactly. So humans, they have the wine challenge. Right. What do dogs have? Oh, they have this, Kevin. No. No. Oh. <laughs> In how, the face! That's how pugs In are made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that pit bull is training to host the next year's Oscars. Oh. oh. No! Hey. He 
still hasn't left? No. <laughs> well, he's banned. Where else is he going to hang out? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Too soon? No. Uh, okay. No. <sighs> well, if you also want to watch Nurse's TikTok dance, here's a shortcut to the hospital. <laughs> Just. <laughs> not, not, not sick. Oh. oh! What did they think was gonna happen? The one guy <laughs> caught on fire too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Insult to injury. We really shouldn't have positioned the fire pit so adjacent to our magic trick. <laughs> that guy's still crawling <laughs> yeah. somewhere. It's like that old uh, Portuguese saying: you yes. got to speak softly because you smashed a big stick into your larynx. That's right. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, suicide forest kills you. That's right, yeah. Oh, no. So it's a homicide forest. Yeah. No. 6.8? Come on! All right, all right, this one, this next one's gonna do better. I, I, not to point to the bleachers here, but okay. thanks, Fiona. Yep. You can never, and I mean this. Yeah? You can never mm. have too much of a good thing. Really? Ever. Oh. 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 A full jar of Nutella. <laughs> oh. I think that croissant had too much Taco Bell, Kevin. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's what happens if you don't express the anal glands of your croissant. Oh. You have to, you gotta do it routinely. Oh, no, 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 Kevin! Wow! Yeah. It's the loop shot, uh, Kevin! Yeah, well, I know who it is. I know, I know. It is. Anal glands is one of the phrases that summons me, Kevin. Thank you so much for bringing me. Yeah, that's his catchphrase. Yes, also you <laughs> I didn't know that. Videos I noticed of a barely stuffed croissant. Barely stuffed? Lube Chef, that, that was like a pocket dimension of chocolate. Oh, no, we neff. <laughs> like I <laughs> was chef in the bathhouses of Berlin. Oh. You can always stuff in more. Oh. <laughs> I don't. This is a Berlin. That That's is an odd training I have prepared very special today, the endless croissant. Oh. It is stuffed with more chocolates than you could submerge a fully lubed rugby team in. What? Yes. What? I'm not, does that track for anyone? Because I'm not oh. sure I know what that is. Oh. Okay. Yeah. To be Cassim seems yeah, to get it. Listen, looks can be deceiving, Kevin. Uh-huh. <laughs> So let's tear in and see what's inside. I don't know that we should, Lube Chef. We should. I don't know, Lube Chef. I don't think we should open it. Oh, the chocolate. What? It is oh, that's not that bad. I don't. Oh, it's There's like a nice. little. It's a grower, not the shower. Give it to <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, no. oh, wow. That's starting to look worse, Lube Chef. There's lots of chocolate. Oh, God. Oh, it's... <laughs> it sounded like someone might have popped a champagne cork to celebrate. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna take a peek back here real quick and make sure everything's okay. What happened? We do? Okay. You doing hundred percent. Yep. Okay. Everything's fine back there. That is the noise that I'm making when I release pressure from my body. None of the expensive, okay. expensive electronics are coated in chocolate right now. Oh, Everything God. is fine. Are you at home? We had a we had a pump for the chocolate. We sure did. And, and that uh, popping noise you heard was a chocolate exploding. <laughs> uh, Loom Chef, is this is this how it went down? In this the... is exactly what I planned. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chocolate flowing out to us yeah. at an explosive rate. And so this anticipation is all yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. process. Yes, I use only the sickest water-based chocolates. Uh -huh. They seep extremely slowly. Out yes, I love it. Hey, question, Lube Chef. Yes. Do you think we should hang out much longer and see if that croissant's gonna flow again? Because it almost looks like it is. Oh, uh-oh. Actually, this is slightly more chocolate than I was anticipating, Kevin. Let's see, just before I make a big mess, I'll get out my wipes and, oh no! Whoa. I forgot that I already used these to clean up the last Oh no! Mess. Oh no! Oh, okay. No problem, I have the backup plan. Okay. Use my little wet. Oh no! Oh no! Worm oh. chef! Forgot that I stuffed this with chocolate as well! <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do? Chef, it's really getting everywhere now. Is my fault I'm going to cause a flood if I'm not careful? Yes. I must become the croissant. Oh no, Lube Chef. I don't. For this show. Lube Chef, don't be a hero. Oh, oh. oh okay. Oh, no. oh, God. The passion of the Lube Chef. Oh. oh, no. No, no, no. I feel like. I. I oh, no. <laughs> Another 
tragic fate for me. This is, I feel like this is exactly how you wanted this to go, Lube Chef, with all of you watching whatever this is. What are yeah. you talking about, Kevin? Lube Chef is a hero. Honestly, yeah. this is the proudest moment of my entire life. I bet it is. Uh, Lube Chef, everyone. Thank you, Lube Chef. Do you want a you wanna bite of the croissant? I'm okay, I'm crying. <laughs> the second pop is really concerning. We should check on everybody. Well, uh, just like we rehearsed it. Okay, coming up, Gina Darling takes us around more than that. Plus, we have the director of The Witch and The Lighthouse, Robert Eggers, in studio. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk to Northman with him. And Kasim is going to be there. You stick around. Okay, great. Is everybody okay? <laughs> BKP, who cares? Gina Darling is here. Hi. Tingly from the energy drinks. I drink so much energy drink, all my extremities yeah. are tingling. I can see into the future right now, Kevin. Okay? Oh, am I still there? Uh, yeah, but you're in bits and pieces because of that explosion. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Uh, exclamation point Q in chat, followed by any questions or comments. That's how we see them. And later on in the show, we're going to interact with them. You can't have your interaction real time. That scares the audience. That would be so weird. We have to delay it. They would get so creeped out. Very want creepy. Us to talk to them. Hey, speaking of friggin' creepy. Oh. <laughs> remember that Lube Chef guy? Yeah. <laughs> um, also, a reminder: keep your uh, keep your little peepers. Mm -hmm. Keep them ready because we're giving out a bunch of codes. The, well, your eyes. Keep them peeled. There's gonna be free download codes happening. Through. I think someone got it. Yep. yep, okay, it's Tiny Tina's Wonderlands from the Epic Game Store. They're gonna appear all throughout the show. I really wanna get back to a karaoke if we can. Oh my God, can we? Can we do that? <laughs> Our very own Flawless Jay is standing by. What up, Kevin? How's it going? Oh, well, you know, there's been better days. <laughs> I know, Kevin, I know. We're in it together, brother. But uh, hey, one's in chat if you want another video game classic. Two's in chat if you want two video game classics. Oh, God. Because I think we got the tank. We got it filled with water. We might as well. Yeah, as well. Let's, of course. You know, why don't we just drown on live television? That sounds good. I can't. It's, there's so many numbers going so fast. <laughs> I've always wanted to waterboard chat. someone. I think it's two. I think two. it's two. And Absolutely. do you want to say that again now that the air is clear? <laughs> okay, great. All right, Flawless Jay, hit us with a, a video game song, and we'll try to guess it. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I got it. Any guess? I couldn't figure that out. Really? No. I couldn't hear that well. I got it off the cadence, mostly, until we hit that high note. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta scream it out, Kevin. I know I, it. A lot I of people it. are guessing it in chat. Someone I said it wrong, but I think they have the right idea. Fee, do you wanna guess it? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna say uh, Zelda? That is correct. Yeah. 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 Please ban whoever guessed Star Wars. <laughs> huh. Good uh, guess. You wanna hit us with one more, Jay? One more. I'm ready. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do another round of Aquarioki. Oh, so you have to stay here. <gasps> I love this song. <laughs> See, I like how I, it quieted down here. Now that. I did not I, hear anything. Kevin. I missed the top of that, but Gina thinks she got it right away. Can you do it again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. let's do it one more. All right. Beer and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hearing a conversation in a break room. I know, me too. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a lot happening. In my ear, and I don't know if the audience is hearing it, it sounds like someone's ordering at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I, I heard somebody wanted a beer and a sandwich. That oh, And that tracks. Sounds like Will? I don't know if the audience heard that, but someone's definitely ordering food while Gerard is singing his heart out in an aquarium. Um, so I'm going to say Did I do it again? again? Yeah. yeah sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. All right, now this time, kill the mic and shut off the light. We all leave the studio. When he comes up, 
-huh. No one is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jay, we're ready, buddy. All right, you got it, guys. Here we go, one more time. <laughs> Is that, is that, I don't want to guess it because chat is now guessing now. I don't want to ruin it, but I think that was, can I go to it? Yeah. Is that Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Final okay. Fantasy. Oh, Gerard. Good job, Dad. Yeah. So good. Good job. Flawless, Jay, everybody. Gerard, the completion. Thank you, sir. I knew that, Gina, because uh, I'm a big gamer and I never stopped, never stopped playing. Which one's your favorite? The, of the, the, the last one. The last? The final one. Oh. So fantastic. Gina, question, yeah. if I may. Yeah. How do you stay so positive? Oh, because I don't believe in condoms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Why did I dump that? <sighs> that makes That's what sense. She said. Stop. Oh. We talk more about this. No, I meant, I meant, um, just to, are very good for you. Just to clarify, I meant like your emotional well-being. You always seem like a very positive person. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This is the train uh, on the tracks, friends. Whoops. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's easy. I just live, laugh, love. Yes. Okay. The laugh, Abby. love. Live mirrors here. We got live, love, laugh. Okay. We go in the bathroom here. We got live, laugh, love. Okay. We come out here to the rug. We got live, laugh, love. Sure. We go over yeah. here. We got live, laugh, love. That's we come over <laughs> here. What do we have we over got here? We got life, life live, live, love, love laugh. laugh. Yeah, you got live, life in there. Laugh, love. Okay. Live, laugh, love. Laugh, love, live, laugh, love. <laughs> live. We got. We got, we got, we got, we got live, laugh, love. I gotta get this clip on my back. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Right, stop the clip. Still on. Stop, stop the, the clip. clip. Stop the clip. We have to, we've That's got it. to kill we Will by Will's mic. We need to address Mike. what's happening. Unless, unless Will is giving out a Tiny Tina Wonderland coat in the hallway <laughs> and this is how we're, we've got to just, just kill all the mics. <laughs> get me a whiteboard and a marker. We're going to take this back to square one. Uh -huh. Five more hours of a karaoke. <laughs> and no one's gonna get their crypto passwords leaked. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, Kevin. Okay, no, I think thank you, Jay. I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm ready, I'm ready whenever you want. Uh, but yeah, but the mic's not gonna be. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> we're gonna what what song is the hallway singing? <laughs> so enthusiastic. Um Live, laugh, love, right? I feel like we, as a human race, need to get together and discuss what order it's supposed to go in. Because that was 16 different orders. I think I it, Live, uh -huh. laugh, love. love. Right? I think that's it. That one, there were so many different ones. Oh, love. Uh, and no, Kevin, it's love, laugh, live. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, come on. Okay, war is going to be started over this. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if it's, we would, mm, yeah, no. Live, love, laugh. No. Laugh, live. No, love. no, no. Laugh, live, love. Wait, don't you have to be living to laugh and to love? But what you if don't you're live laughing? Until you love. Uh, and you can't to love until live. you laugh. Yeah. Laugh, love, live. Someone in chat said, live, laugh, lube. Yeah. Oh. I like that. I, I like that a lot. That's fair. I think you should put, put lube before love and you're okay. Lube. That's right. Yeah. Well, lube, lube to love. Lube to love, yes. That's right. I like that. I like it. Lube, lube, lube. Laugh. There you go. Lube, lube, That's lube. Fair. I'm down for that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Someone start crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> Get on Etsy. Lube, lube, lube. <laughs> Hey, Kevin. Yes. You love anime, don't you? Oh, my God. With the, the cartoon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. With uh, Zira and the arm and the Titans. And they're running. Yeah. And the, the future bikes. Yep. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder how they animate the running in an Attack on Titan? Not really, but I'm sure you're going to show me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> not get a 360 camera for this show. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. oh my god, wait. It came to her neck. Oh no, she grabbed That might be the head. first 10 we've ever had. Was that, a that number? Oh, it was there. Oh. Who did that? Who ruined that? So close. I gotta be honest, I do not understand anime, but I would let her step on me. Kevin. <laughs> That's an Attack on Titan thing, isn't it? Sure. The camera gave her a Titan body and a Terrence and Philip face. You know? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> now, Kevin. Uh, yes. The key to misdirection is, is timing. Oh. Whoa. 
<laughs> okay, now hold on. Uh, now hold on. <laughs> Try it again. Yeah. You want one more? Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Awesome wants one more. We got to do it first. And that's a 9.9, 9, you one sons more? of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. He nailed it. You know, he drops a bowling ball when he needs to shit his pants. Oh my God. <laughs> and he doesn't even leave the alley. <laughs> uh, yes. I still don't think it was him. I think there was a second farter on a grassy knoll. <laughs> Back into the left. Ask your parents. Back. Hey, oh, wow. yeah, okay. <laughs> Kevin. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I got one for you. Yeah. Okay. You guys ever heard this obey your thirst thing? Yeah. You ever heard that? Of course. Sprite the Sprite slogan. Yeah. yeah, you've heard it, right? Well, it's not their slogan. Oh. What? It's a warning. Oh. This is my 11th attempt at trying to drink a whole Sprite without burping. 11? Um, okay. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Okay. Okay, here we go. You know, I heard that Kasim sent in this video, and I can tell why. Yeah, me yeah. too. What? I like I like Sprite. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I bet that's what the algorithm knows. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, it's a lot longer. Oh, yeah, keep going. No, I don't. Oh, they keep I refuse going. to. Yeah. Kasim. Okay, let's go back to it. Let's see. Yeah. Stop yeah, let's keep going. I just don't know how are we gonna really watch her drink the entire thing. Yeah. Yes, Kevin. So when you saw this, Cass, you were like, it I gotta hang in for this you. entire video. Yeah, it's the the payoff is so good. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, and she's uh, why is she she's breathing right? all Keep heavy. Going. Why does she not open her mouth when she drinks it? She's. What? <laughs> you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Okay, all right, all right, fine. If you want to see the rest of it, let's go. Tight mouth, tight mouthing it down. Okay, she did it. Here we go. Is this it? It's coming, it's coming. Is she dry heaving? Yeah. It's fine. Right. It's fine. Are we done now? <laughs> drinking pasta. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Why did it sound like a symphony? Did you that hear that? Was, that was the Final Fantasy oh, oh. theme. <laughs> that was the theme. <laughs> Why didn't she throw a bowling ball? <laughs> I let her step on me. <laughs> you know, for some reason, the videos where I do the same thing with a honey-baked ham, they never took off. Kevin, oh no. All that glaze makes me gassy. Oh God. <laughs> Look, I think carbonation counts as science, right? Sure. Oh yeah, and it does, sure. And we here at Attack are scientists. Oh, we are scientists. She's not wrong, chat. We yeah. are scientists, so. Let's verify those results. It's time for some science. Science! <laughs> Does this a science? <laughs> okay, well, how are we doing this, friends? Oh, well, gonna... uh, okay, oh. let's each grab one of these here. Oh. Tough Daddy wanna... sent us their new anti-burp, but still highly carbonated energy soda called Hush Daddy. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, and as part <laughs> of the Tough air Daddy challenge. water? Hang on. <laughs> the We're gonna do the Tough Daddy challenge, water. okay? I mean, if one of us drinks the entire Hush Daddy without burping, then the official dad Hush Daddy statement says we get the entire product endorsement money. Oh, we oh wait. Able... So we just got to drink the Hush Daddy, no burps, and then Jeep it, That's before a gets the money? That's a way of saying it, yes. We got to finish these, and we get money. Yep. But it should be fine. It's a no burp carbonated soda. Oh, I don't think this is going to be a problem for anybody. Can yeah. I read the ingredients? Yeah, yeah. please. We've please got do. carbonated liquid and then anti carbonated liquid and then natural flavor products and hippocampus protein. Yeah, <laughs> hippocampus proteins is very important. What part of the brain? Uh, Did they take parts of the brain? I'm not a genius. I just drink this stuff. Okay? Yeah. All right, science. Okay. I don't. I might sit this one out and just judge you. <laughs> okay, Gina's going in. Oh, Valhalla. And it's not going to be a problem, right? Nobody's going to burp because these drinks are anti-carbonation. They're hush daddies, chat. So let's see how this bit pans out. Oh, Gina's already regretting a lot. Can I get that for you, hon? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not a problem so far. Wow, these hush daddies are powerful. Why is it lukewarm? It's not even cold. Okay, well. That hush daddy was delicious. <laughs> and let me tell you, I enjoyed it. So far, so But good. I've also told you guys, I have a, um, 
degenerate sparkling water habit. I drink like oh, a full can. case a day. Baby. Oh, that's, that's, that's the that lot. was not yeah. it. That's that was baby. not that. Oh, no, no. What was that? That was not, that's not real. That was not real. Um, for those sake, no, these are in fact very carbonated. Just so you know, Chad. You wanna see? It's not just water. Yeah, spicy. You wanna oh, see no, how carbonated no, it is? Uh, yeah, show them how carbonated no, no, no. it is, Gina. No. You know what, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Just, Go maybe ahead just a, and set this our buddy. Oh, see, you heard it. Oh, see? Okay, go ahead, Cash, you're gonna read the slogan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all I gotta do is read the slogan. Hey, buddy, you seem a little parched. Do you want some of my hush daddy? <laughs> no, I think I'm okay. I Kim. haven't even had a sip yet. Why don't you drink some of that? You look uh, so absolutely. parched, I, poor baby. Why, why does yours look yellow fantastic. compared to Big burp. I'm sure it would be, obviously this would not cause me to burp because it's a fantastic product. Yeah, of course. That <laughs> promises what it, it says. I'm sure you could slam that down real fast yeah. and just go ahead and say their slogan, right? I mean, would it be hard for a man it. like you? Absolutely, absolutely. All I have to do is just oh. put this up to my lips. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, slamming it. Oh, yeah. Oh, opening the throat? Oh, wow. That's what and an open throat looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And he's side eyeing. Okay. Yes, up. 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 Oh, he's there. Yes, up. Oh, he's there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's fine. All we gotta. Where's the slogan? It's on the. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. I don't feel good, Kevin. I know we really There's should a have pain. to be out of this bit. <laughs> you know, like when you're scared to burp because you don't know if it's gonna be a burp or a vomit. Oh, is that you're right there? Right here. You should probably try to. Uh, it's don't, it's air conditioner water. water flavor. You could knock that down with more hush daddy. Okay. That, you could just. I feel like that's solution for everything. <laughs> knock that. Hush daddy. Okay. Cass, you all right, buddy? Yeah, the, the best anti-burp. He's hurt. Don't burp. It makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Oh, okay. It just sits right there, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, don't. No, no, no way. There's no way this is a good idea to continue. <laughs> the break. Yeah. WWE yeah. star Xavier Woods, aka yeah. Osprey, finishes taking us around yeah. the net. And later, we're going to talk to the Northman director, Robert Eggers, live in our studio. And I'll be shocked if he's still hanging around. <laughs> we'll be right back. Pour this in the Empire. <laughs> This friend, WWE superstar King Woods, a.k.a. Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed! Yeah! Come on. Show me how to hit a guy. <laughs> what? Wow. what? That meant forever. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just... On a big Jim Carrey kick. Okay, sounds good. Hey, you know Flawless Jay. Yeah, I love Flawless Jay. Did you know that man can sing into an aquarium filled with water what? and then the chat can guess what the song is? Have you heard this? Kevin, what? Do you want to see it? I would love to. <laughs> okay. Flawless Jay! Do me a favor, Jay. Yes, sir. You have an encyclopedic knowledge of the video games. You some, can play some, them all. Yes, sir. We have a certified gamer here. Yes, and sir. And I believe some of the folks in chat play the video games as well. Yes, so sir. So give us a tough one. A tough one? Yeah, challenge Let's us. Go. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Or do okay. the Mario theme again. Whatever no, you want. No, 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 no. Okay. A tough one. Give me this. All right. Here we go. Okay. You want one or two? Give us one to start. We'll see how yeah. quick they get One to start? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. You all ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chat, get ready. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait. I, no. Do you know what it is, Creed? You know it? Okay. Uh, we might need a little. Oh, I know. I think I know. Yep. Is it Donkey Kong? No. Oh. Not Donkey Kong. Oh. <laughs> Give us that high part one more time and then we're gonna move on. Jay. In this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, here we go. Well, <laughs> give us the whole thing. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I know! I know! I know. I know. I know. I know. Chemical plant zone? Chemical plant zone is correct. Wow. That's a 
Yeah. 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 Wow. Flawless Shay. Good job. So Matt, good. if you got it, well played. And what a what a wet man. Oh, I'm so wet. I love so it. wet, Creed. I love seeing a wet Jay. You love Jay. to see it. Oh, well, speaking of, let's explore the dark side of MILFs. Ooh. Is there one? <laughs> Work. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that no. happens. Yeah, it does. <laughs> And that child be crying all the way, maybe through college if Mine mom keeps be. it up. Exactly. They were just trying to get to the free buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs and legs. Yeah, Sorry, excuse it. me, mom. <laughs> and I feel like as a parent, you have to understand you sometimes teach your kids personal responsibility. And that was a great example. That's a great way to show it, yeah. <laughs> mom is working. Get <laughs> mom needs her poll time. You go do what you got to do. Yeah, you know. And if you're going to go to any big concerts this summer, mm. remember to get plenty of water. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh no, help, help, this help. Is yeah. Were they trapped? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I think the concert is just getting good when everything starts melting. Mm. What? Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the colors. That's right. <laughs> A 7.1! Oh, one. One, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't actually, that's just a drop, kids. Yeah, it's a thing. Oh, it's a thing. Please. Dead mouth five? Okay. Dead mouth five. Hey, five. It's quick, it's quick, it's quick, it's quick. Oh, I'm gonna, I, I really, that, that hurt me. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Dead mouth five. Cassim's, Cassim's SoundCloud is fire. Hit him with another remix, Cass. <laughs> yeah, he's like a DJ with Morse code. Did you hear that? <laughs> Drop it. DJ SOS. That's right, yep. Oh, the aircraft, the aircraft are approaching. Supply chains are we got. Yeah, we've been, there's a spotter plane. We need to get out of here. We gotta, we gotta run. <laughs> so old. Hey, be careful with free food, okay? Because there's often a hidden cost. Do not eat the clam chowder at the Lexus December to remember sales of eggs. <laughs> The thing that's weird to me is she's saying that as if someone is frequenting that event to have the clam chowder. Every year when it comes around, my parents would, that's it, get in the car. I love that Phoenix, Arizona clam chowder at the Toyota event. <laughs> Gross, come on, dude. Yes. Oh, I love um, it. Hey, did you know that a new Fantastic Beast comes out tomorrow? I did not know that. <laughs> no, you do. Uh, but if you are tired of fake magic, yeah. don't worry, because we found a real wizard. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. To do donuts, he oh, did them. Whoa. He did them. It's all reverse. Mm. Okay. Magnets? Oh. Is he squatting on a Roomba that we're not seeing? Do, oh. do it from the back? Chat said actual witch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Burn him at the stake! <laughs> that is... That is impressive. That is... You know, uh, his cheeks are actually street legal. <laughs> I saw him on the 101 this morning. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's easy to track where he's been driving because he does leave a streak. Yeah. Everywhere. No, 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 come on, that, hold on, hold on. No? Hold on. He no. likes croissant? No. What? What? No, what? No, it's sorry. Anyways, guys, that wasn't real, obviously. Well, He's not a real wizard. See, we actually managed to figure out this trick. No, uh -oh. we didn't do any actual research. There's no way. No. Yep, for five whole minutes, this little brain rattled in there. Oh. And we're tired of this fit, shirtless, sexy, Very. beautiful, mm, hopefully true. single man doing mm. a fun thing. It's time to ruin it by letting the world know how it's done. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No one can solve the mystery of how this guy pulls off his phantom car butt slide trick, but we managed to recreate the effect here at G4. And here's how we did it. The most obvious way to pull off the butt slide is with a small roller attached to the pants of the performer. 
So we expertly taped a seated dolly to Gina's pants and painted it green for keying. But Gina found the dolly was too difficult to control alone. So we hired Hollywood wire expert Glenn Bugass to control the dolly from off screen with a high tensile rope. Unfortunately, a single operator still made for a wild ride. Particularly because Glenn suffered from severe vertigo after getting kicked in the head by a horse on the set of Jonah Hex. So we hired mocap actor Leonard Green to help stabilize Gina as she was pulled. But it turns out Leonard and Glenn were longtime rivals due to a tire fire they were both blamed for on the set of Dark Angel. So when they saw each other, they immediately started violently fighting. To finally settle their beef, we hired a third actor. Enter Leslie Flibble to play a fake couples counselor. After weeks of brutally honest emotional work, they were finally ready to come to set and complete the stunt. The final step was hiring a body double to play Gina for the actual rolling stunt due to liability concerns from legal. It was a brutal shoot, particularly because Glenn and Leonard started fighting again when they realized the couple's counselor was fake. But we felt like we got it. And yet, after weeks of editing, we felt something wasn't working. Two, one, go. That's it. So we Googled how to do the butt slide, and it turns out you just push off the wall and reverse it. And that's how we got the effect. Also, we added a shadow here. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. That's good. That's good. Friends, coming up, director Robert Eggers is here to talk about his new Viking epic, The Northman. Will we ask him about Hamlet? The psychology of revenge? Shirtless Alexander Skarsgård? What? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Please. Shirtless? That's the one Someone's I Someone's excited on yeah. the couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay, we'll do it. When we come back, you stay right there. It's Attack of the Show. Welcome back. I'm excited. Our guest today is the filmmaker behind some of our favorite modern indies like The Witch and The Lighthouse. His new movie, The Viking Revenge Tale, The Northman, hits theaters on April 22nd. Let's take a look. Have you watched any of our show yet today? <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw uh, someone covered in, like, mud. I, uh, <laughs> uh, we told you to keep him in the dark. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, we're so a, a thrilled. A young woman burping? Yeah. Uh, yeah, who was that? Not me. Uh, look, we're so thrilled to have you, Grace, uh, our tiny little show. Um, we both saw your movie, Me and Will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not just because you're here, it honestly was a fantastic film. I think uh, we have a couple questions to ask you about it. I know our time is limited. We maybe have some chat questions. Yep. But right off the bat, um, you mentioned you really weren't into or knew a lot about Viking mythology going into making this movie. How did you, like, did you have to learn it? Did you consult with someone? Like, how did you end up making an entire movie, an epic movie that is, like, largely based in Viking mythology? Yeah, I mean, well, by the time I was making the movie, I knew a lot about it. Sure. But, but it was something, I, I just, I was never, I was, I was a kid who got, like, beat up for wearing costumes to school. I was a sensitive kid. And, like, oh. macho, macho shit didn't interest me. And uh, and then like as an adult, the like right wing Nazi misappropriation of Viking culture made it so that I was particularly not interested in Vikings. Interesting. Uh, but when I visited Iceland, the landscapes were so inspiring. I picked up uh, you know the the Icelandic sagas, which are Viking stories, and then I got into it. Um, and so uh, and then a couple of years later, 
I had lunch with Alexander Skarsgård, and we decided to make a Viking movie together because that's something he's wanted to do since he was a kid. And uh, so, anyway, I was working with the finest Viking historians and archaeologists in the field, and um, and and we made w what I can submit as a fact to be the most historically accurate Viking movie that's ever been made. All right. Okay, yeah, I just thought you were going to say you read a book. Or something. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I was going to say, including the Valkyrie wearing braces, correct? Yes, the Valkyrie <laughs> does not wear braces. Uh, the, 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 uh, we've, they've found a lot of Viking skulls that have uh, horizontal grooves carved in their teeth that they think that they might have filled with a, uh, an enamel or, or pigment, and we thought it looked cool, and so we gave it to the Valkyrie. Yeah. That's incredible. Now, it's interesting that you said that macho shit didn't interest you because, uh, you know, when I think of your filmography, I've seen all your movies, I do not think of 80s Schwarzenegger. But you mentioned in a previous interview that Conan was one of the inspirations for this film. I'm a big Schwarzenegger guy. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, <laughs> that's certainly a, a macho exception. Right. Uh, I, I, like, I, I loved Conan as a little kid. I watched it so many times. Uh, there are a handful of deliberate nods to Conan in this film. Uh, Wheel of Pain and the Rowing? Bingo, uh, and then there's, but there's a handful of, uh, or more than a handful of accidental nods because I just watched it so many times <laughs> when I was a kid. So, so as much as you know, I'm inspired by like Japanese and Soviet art house historical epics. There's a good deal of Conan yeah. in this movie. What do you think Tarkovsky would think of Conan? <laughs> uh, I think he would hate it, and he would hate my movie too. Okay. <laughs> There was a scene in this movie that uh, I needed therapy about. Uh, and, and I don't want to spoil it, but it includes Nicole Kidman, who I think is like just one of the, the best things that we have going. Obviously, you uh, make mo great movies and, and actors are attracted to being in your movies. How did this cast come together? Um, because honestly, not a, everyone on screen was magnetic and fantastic. Well, thank you. I mean, honestly, though, not you know, some people don't want to work with me. I mean, I've had, I've had <laughs> who? What's his or her I've name? Had very famous. I've had very famous actors say, you know, like, I think it's going to be a bit too much for me. Thank you. Yeah. Well, at least they're nice about it, and they said thank you. Sure, yeah, yeah but we can, <laughs> but, we can out no, them. But if but, we but, want. but but Nicole, um, I mean, obviously she had a good relationship with Alex um, from B Big Little Lies. Yeah. And but I was nervous to meet with her because it is Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Uh, but I flew to Nashville, and uh, I think she sensed after 90 seconds that I might be like a little bit nervous, and, and she said, "Don't worry, I'm doing the movie." You know. <laughs> oh, great. She, she was like, she was like, this this uh, the, the 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 script has teeth. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, fantastic. Had she known about your work before? Yeah, she was a big fan of The Lighthouse. Oh, The Lighthouse. So good. Um, so different, you know? I feel like when people call you an auteur director, does that, do you like, does that make you feel weird or do you yes. agree with it? Yeah. Why? Well, I just, any, you know, I, I feel like I'm, you know, a wannabe. I've only made three movies. Yeah. Three fan yeah, yeah. Very kind. fantastic movies. But I'm still, you know, I'm still learning my craft. Right. You know? Okay. Thank God. Yeah, no, you can't just Spoken judge. like an auteur. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what an auteur would say. Um, it's interesting he mentioned your previous films. One question I want to ask you. Um, both The Witch and The Lighthouse feel so contained, claustrophobic. I mean, literally, the, the frame in The Lighthouse feels claustrophobic. But this is such a different film. This is an epic. How does it feel? And why did you go from these more contained projects to something as grand as The Northman? Well, I just, I mean, I, I wanted to tell a story for uh, a, a broad audience for yeah. the first time. And so that means like a simpler narrative. Well, I mean, The Lighthouse like arguably doesn't have a narrative, you yeah. know? So, uh, so I had to have a story that was like a myth that everyone knows. This is based on uh, this Nordic folktale that uh, a certain guy named William Shakespeare read and mm. inspired Hamlet. Mm. So it, it, by, by having something that's the Hamlet or the Lion King, like everybody knows this. So then I can share with audiences interesting stuff about Viking mythology and ritual culture that you might not be able to do on a film this size. Uh, so that's what that like story enabled me to, to do. Yeah, I, uh, and we're showing a little bit of it here. How jacked did Alex Skarsgård have to get for this, or was he pre-jacked? 
It, I, 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 I said that he would be banished from set if his traps weren't above his ear. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 the laughed, traps? we thought that's the only thing he did was yeah. traps. Yeah, his traps are insane. His traps are insane. Spoiler, they're the most insane traps I've seen since Bane. But they, honestly, dude, also like in the final naked sword fight on the volcano, yeah. his lats yeah. are like popping out. Yeah. It's wild. There was a line in the, in the release that mentioned muscular action, and we were not disappointed. No, we got muscular action. We got heaps of it. <laughs> this movie made me question my <laughs> my relationship with my mother. Um, you know, one of the themes in this movie that I really uh, seemed to hone in on was resentment and harboring resentment. And I don't know if, if that's just because of the way I... I, uh, I, you know, I'm a sober guy and I've made a lot of bad decisions in my life and I've learned that um, there's things I have to like let go to grow, you know? Yeah. And um, it seems like that was a very clear message to me that, you know, even though something bad happened to you, you can let go of those things maybe uh, for your own benefit and for your own health because you can kind of fall in and just repeat the patterns that were done to you. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, I'm trying to uh, show the way, the Viking morality, the Viking mind, the Viking m mindset, and, you know, and those morals and behaviors and beliefs are not mine, they're not yours, but hopefully you can see how someone would behave that way, and mm -hmm. someone who is living in a culture where your fate is your fate and there's nothing you can do about it, yeah. and, and you have to revenge, like, you can't just say, actually, I'd prefer forgiveness. Like, you mm -hmm. would be shamed, you know? Uh, and, and that actually meant something then, yeah. you know, but- That was but, a better time. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully, you know, hopefully like, you know, you can, you, can, uh, you can understand it and then you can ask yourself like how you feel about that stuff. Like it's not, it's not a black and white movie, you know? Um, something that I liked when I read these sagas is like uh, the hero who the saga would be named after, he could be an outlaw, a psychopath, like do like, Alex kills people at night in this movie, which yeah. is not an okay thing to do. Yeah, you don't do it while culture. they're sleeping. No. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, this movie's so big in scope, I'm sure going from smaller movies to a big epic had its challenges. Can you say kind of, do you think your next movie is going to be that? Size and scale. I, pre I preferred I preferred to sing a little smaller because I learned so much. Yeah, yeah. That that I, I feel like I can really nail a slightly smaller movie right. uh, the next time. But uh, but it was awesome. It was it was so incredible. I mean, it's not easy, but yeah. like working with like hundreds of extras and stuntmen and horses and cows and chickens and geese and kids and <laughs> mud yeah. and blood and spears and javelins. It's you know. And Willem cool. Dafoe, I'm and sure, Willem is Dafoe. already cast in your next project. Yeah, the yeah. Will, Willem Willem Dafoe. Um, yeah, Willem Willem will be really. Tell us something about Willem that we we already love him, but can we love him more? <laughs> um, is it possible? Yeah, um, Willem Dafoe lives uh, outside of Rome on a farm with uh, tons of dogs and sheep, and and he has a he has a black ram named Black Philip. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Like from the whip. That is awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, he's a fan. <laughs> is what you're saying. He's a friend. Um, okay. Speaking of the films, quickly, yeah. The Witch, The Lighthouse, The Northman, what the accountant. The that what's the, the next project? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't, I have to be secretive and okay. elusive, unfortunately, okay. respectfully. Oh, but yeah, yeah, like that, keep it mysterious. <laughs> yeah, you know? um, we do have a, a question from uh, a member of our Discord. Okay, if we can take that. Um, user sub or orbital says they write, IMDb says. You are from Lee, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to Blink's Frido at Hampton Beach? If so, what's your flavor? Uh, I've been to Hampton Beach, but I have not been to that fried dough place. All right, let's ban Sub Orbital. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Sub. That would have been great if I had, but sadly. Well, look, we're out of time, and uh, what, a, what, a low, what a low point to end. <laughs> You did this to us, Suborbital. It was all going so well. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Eggers. You can catch The Northman when it hits theaters April 22nd. And when we're back, Fiona Nova feeds you this week's top stories. Plus, I hit the streets to promote an important cause. 
Is it actually important? I'll let you guess. Just a reminder that our friends at Epic Game Store, they have given us some free download codes for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Keep watching the show for your chance to grab one. I know, they go fast. You just gotta be faster. I also know that our audience is hungry for knowledge, so with that said, I guess it's time to let Fiona Nova stuff some news into your brain mouth. That's great. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I'm Fiona Nova, and it's time to start the feed. <laughs> and here are your top stories of the week. Guys, how much does it cost to get full mod privileges on Twitter? Oh. Just $43 billion, oh. nothing. At least that's what Elon Musk offered to buy Twitter outright. Oh. Yeah, conveniently on the heels of news that Twitter bots were used to spam positive takes on both Tesla and himself, the god emperor of Doge wants to buy 100% of Twitter for $54 a share. Just a cool, oh. simple 43 billion. Yeah. yeah. Musk says Twitter needs to be privatized because it can't thrive in its current form. He just wants Twitter to be single and thriving. And by that, I mean under singular ownership and fully private. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Musk went to say so far as to say that the only thing he can unlock, Twit, sorry, I am. I'm still thinking about Robert Eggers. Elon Musk, he's weird. <laughs> he's scaring me. Yeah, he's a he's scary guy. guy. He's a cool wacky He's tearing, he's wacky terrifying. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Keep going, Fiona. Musk went so far as to say that only he can unlock Twitter's extraordinary potential. Oh. It'll be like Dragon Ball Z if going Super Saiyan was a crypto-based subscription model. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like any good supervillain, he's given the world an ultimatum, writing, my offer is my best and final offer, and if it is not accepted, I would need to reconsider my position as a shareholder. Ooh. Yeah. He went on to say, let me buy Twitter, or I'll buy SNL and host it every week. Oh. Oh gosh. Uh -oh. In a statement, Twitter said it will carefully review the proposal to determine the course of action for the company and all Twitter stockholders. Okay. In other words, if Musk throws in another billion or two, get ready for those blue check marks to become NFTs of Shiba Inu's smoking splits. Okay. Anyways, guys. Great news for all of you die-hard Pokemon Go fans. Yeah. Pokemon's developer, Niantic, just announced a new non-Pokemon augmented reality mobile game. This time, it borrows from the nostalgic 90s favorite, Tamagotchi. Yeah. In the new game called Peridot, you'll be given a unique pet to raise from baby to adult. Yeah. Typical tasks include feeding your pet, taking it on walks, and searching for treats in the real world, all while your real dog sits next to your, you on the couch and stares mournfully at its leash. Oh. Don't ignore your dog, please. <laughs> wait, wait, but hold on. Are we gonna feel responsible for a string of pet deaths like in Tamagotchi? Because there's a lot of nano puppy blood on my hands. Yeah. Good news in Peridot, I know. In Peridot, there is no deaths. Oh. Yeah. Look at my works, mortal hamsters, and despair. Oh. The cats over at Niantic promise the creatures will never die. Instead, we try to reward people for coming back and playing with their creatures more often. Teaching kids that if you don't care regularly for a pet, someone will release microtransactions that make going to the vet fun again. <laughs> will this game be as interactive as Pokemon Go? There won't be raids or gym battles, but you will be able to breed your pets to create new types of computer-generated creatures. The goal is to keep breeding until you acquire every rare type of Peridot possible. That's cool. It's like if Hinge kept score via eugenics. Ooh. <laughs> While Niantic hasn't, gi hasn't given a release date yet, you can sign up to beta test for their soft launch. So head on over to playparadot.com to register. Okay. And speaking of cute furry animals, just cute little ones, uh -huh. Sonic 2 did pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> at the box office this past weekend, pulling down about 70 million. And while most fans were on board for the Hedgehog's latest outing, not everyone was happy with this interpretation. So joining us now to break it down. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. 
What are you? That's enough. I was just going to do it twice. Yeah, what are you here for? What's happening? I'm boycotting the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, As a member of Poos, which is the people for the preservation of original Sonic, they've completely, completely changed Sonic's design because Hollywood said he needed to be sexier. So and that's not okay. You don't like sexy, it seems. He's too sexy. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I hit the streets mm. to talk to the hoi polloi about their thoughts about Hollywood's beauty standards in our animated movies. Take a look. Sonic was like a, in a, like a real thing. Would people want to have sex with Sonic? Probably, right? Anything that talks, moves, has legs, people want to have sex with. Yeah. Right? I agree. Do not see Sonic the Hedgehog. The message Hollywood is sending us is change for views. Look hot for the camera. Not me, sir. Sorry. Sorry. Can I get you guys a signature for a petition. Change Sonic back to his original form. Did you know? Sonic was supposed to look like this in the movie? Really? And they changed it to it this? They changed to him. Yeah, like you're a cartoon. Which one do you like more? I like that one. He got a cute. What if I told you that this one is the original design and Hollywood changed it? Okay, they wanted to make it more like, 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 a, like a sexy? They wanted sexy. to make a sexier Sonic. Oh, good. They're probably trying to sexualize everything. They probably want little kids to think about a Sonic as not just a character, but a character they can even possibly jack off. To, possibly. The preservation, preservation of original Sonic. <laughs> you want Sonic to be like this, or you want Sonic to be like this cute one? The little news. That's right. Which Sonic do you like more? I don't like that one. This one right here? Yep. This one right here? No, that one. Okay, no, I like that. I think she pointed, I think she meant to say this one. You guys ever been bullied online? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Cyberbullying. Yeah. You have? Oh, yeah. That's essentially what we did to Sonic. <laughs> Have you heard of the Uncanny Valley? Yeah, I have. That's that to me. That's what you're getting with this? Yeah. Come sign the petition, be a part of a good cause. You trying to turn it back into the monstrosity? Correct. I will not. I, I, I already had This it. makes heard... me my enemy. Screw off! Boom! Propaganda machine is in full effect. Porn? Go on. Uh, nudity? Yes? Um, uh, sex in general? I love everything you're saying. Sonic the Hedgehog is too sexy. Let's preserve Sonic's original form. We can't convince you to have Sonic reverted back, but can we get you to sign off on this being our new Tails? Oh, for sure, 100%. You're good with that? Yeah, yeah, great. This is uh, Knuckles in the game. Oh, yeah. And this is a real life echidna with Idris Elba's face. Wait, I was gonna say, this is Idris Elba, yeah. Great voice, good looking man. Great, yeah, but uh, he's not an echidna. He wants to have sex with an animal, not me. Not you. No. I don't. Do you? No. I wouldn't. Neither do I. So you wouldn't have sex with Sonic? No. I don't I don't think about it that much. Kevin Pereira passed on this bit. Well, both Sonics are cool. Oh, both Sonics are cool. Remember yeah. when Trump said there was good people on both sides? <laughs> you know, this one's more like, you know, one's to have sex with this thing. It looks ugly. But, you know, this, you're going to want to have sex with. Not me. The old Sonic was cuter. Thank you. Go ahead and point to your Sonic. No. Have you ever heard of G4 TV? I've not. Cool. Can a cartoon character be too sexy, Absolutely. sir? Absolutely. He's way too good right. looking. This is my Sonic. How about you, ma'am? I don't, don't know. Don't make a stupid decision. Pick the right one. I mean, that one has beautiful eyes. That's all that we need. Cute. Thank you okay. so much. Can we get your signature? <laughs> yeah, sure. Great. <laughs> And you're okay if we send you some materials about Scientology? Scientology. This is not our this Sonic. This is not our Sonic. Powerful. This is not my Sonic. I did. Does that feel good? Years. It felt really good. Go as many, yeah. Bloody hell. I mean, it's fine. It's just we also have to clean it up too. So do your part. Sonic is beautiful. Sonic. I'm positive. Body positive. Hollywood, your beauty standards don't cut it anymore. Feels good, right? Feels really good. I'm gonna go do that for your girlfriend. I shaved my balls for this. What do they want? I'll you a million dollars. Would you have sex with Sonic? Yeah, I mean, really? I wouldn't. Maybe if I put the costume on my girlfriend or something. Maybe, maybe I put it on you, that costume over you, and put a costume over my girlfriend. Which one would you rather have sex with? Probably you. Thank you. I'll be awaiting your answer. Cosmo! 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 Cosm
I hope we were able to change some minds and hearts out there. You did a good job. Thanks. I'm Fiona Nova, and you've just been fed. Yeah! Bless your hearts. Thank you, Fiona, and thank you, Cass. And when we come back, it is finally time for our big Easter egg hunt. I promised it would be big. It's going to be big. I promised it would be epic. Yes. I promised yes. it would be violent. Yep. Yeah. I pro whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? What just did? Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Creed, you son of a bitch. Oh, William! Can we? Can we just pause for a second? What the hell is going on? That, Kevin, is an extraterrestrial. Oh! oh. Okay, what is an extraterrestrial? Don't play dumb. What? I'm letting it slide this time. Okay, that's an egg pun. I heard I'm letting it. Yep. <laughs> is, that, is that what this is? Is that what this whole bit is? Are you feeling clucky, Kevin? Huh? Huh? This is no time for your yolks. Oh. <laughs> Listen up, egg hunt is canceled. You better scramble, because this Easter, the egg is hunting us. Oh, oh I see what's happening. See, I thought I was just tossing a break, but it turns out the egg thing is gonna try to murder us in this bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope we survive long enough to come back from break. If we do, we're apparently going to try to save humanity by hunting the egg thing that yeah. just... Why are you joking? This is very okay. serious. That's right, it is very serious. You're right, we'll be right back and we'll do the big thing. And that's yes. the serious thing. Yes. Okay. Seriously. Welcome back, everybody. Now we had a whole... Hey, we got to get serious. Creed was very, very adamant. This is serious time. Because we had a whole happy Easter thing planned. But plans have changed. It's time for the Executioner Eggstream Egg Hunt. Oh. 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 Ah. Okay, that was, that was dirty. Was that cyberpunk? Our innocent little Easter egg hunt has turned into a life or death game of survival. WWE superstar Xavier Woods, AKA Austin Creed, has informed us that he has faced this extraterrestrial before, known as the Executioner. Okay. And the Executioner is here to conquer our planet by launching its invasion in the one place that no one is watching, oh. G4. Yeah. Uh, there's like three people left in our studio, I can tell you. <laughs> and maybe three at home. Boy, it's rough. Our hosts are currently hiding in our office right now where they're attempting to avoid the roaming executioner. There he is. He is violent and moves very slowly. To survive, they must grab the correctly colored safety eggs from the baskets at the terminals, which I will be activating. And unfortunately, there are not enough eggs at each station for everyone to survive, meaning one host, each and every round will be violently eliminated. Now the host that manages to survive the hunt and kill the executioner will win the game and a fabulous pri No budget for the prize. They will win pride. Chat, who do you think's gonna survive? Say somebody's name. And now that we've set it all up, let's check in with our hosts right now. Now, they're all dialed in via the latest, and it looks like Fiona Nova, are you even there? Fiona? Fiona, I can't. Fiona, are you okay? Oh. Okay, you seem, okay, that's great, Fiona. You might want to focus up because the executioner is roaming. Will Neff, Will Neff, talk to me. Are you doing okay, buddy? Oh my. <laughs> 
Okay, 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 be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, Will. I'm gonna give the folks at home some context. I'm gonna pull up the map of the office. Maybe we can see it, there it is. And when Will just said he's at the vending machines, which is the yellow egg area right there, we've got an Ottoman section, who knew? The attack of the show table, the old walkway, the void, it's all there. And according to my data, I believe the first eggs that everyone will need to get to are the green eggs. Make your way there carefully. There's not enough eggs for everybody to survive. Okay, Will Neff is on the move. Creed, talk to me. Okay, Executioner is roaming the desk right now. It looks like Gina made it to the eggs. Gina, you safe? <laughs> got neck, got neck. Oh, no, I Oh! Oh, no, Will this! Oh, no, Will this! Oh, no, did Will, oh, did, oh, did Will get oh, shot? No! Oh. Not like that! No, no, no! Oh, no, is down! Neff down! Oh, no! We didn't even try with eggtality. That's the pun. Eggtality? Yeah, all right. Okay, it looks like Will Neff has been eliminated. <laughs> oh, Will, I wish I could chat with you, but unfortunately, you're dead. Fiona, where are you, honey? What's going on? I'm hidden. I'm hidden in a dark spot. A dark spot. Ooh, Ava from Long Beach. Okay. Okay, you gotta get off hinge, Gerard. Gerard, talk to me. Where are you? I want to go back to the map. Where are you, Gerard? Give me some context. I'm behind a huge whiteboard that no one can see me hiding. I hear the executioner roaming around. Creed, what is that, buddy? You were unmuted. What is that? There's three of us in one place. He's coming. Okay, and Gina's hiding in plain sight, it seems? Yeah, yeah, she is, she's at the desk. Plain sight, if, if, I just, if I just pretend that I'm working like I usually do, he might not see me. Okay. I don't, well, the executioner's vision is productivity-based, so be careful. Okay, executioner's moving along. Friends, the next location that is ready to hatch for your safety is the purple basket in the no, void, the right. purple next basket. You gotta make your way to those purple eggs. I'm gonna switch to Kasim's view here. Kasim, are you near the purple Kevin. eggs? Yeah, Kevin, I was actually stationed right next to them. You grabbed it? Okay, and I see Gerard, Gerard going fell. down. Gerard just fell down. Ke oh no, Gerard! Kevin, he just fell down hard. Oh no, and Kasim's doing the frontline reporting here. Gerard went down, he's backing away from the executioner. Did he get an egg? <laughs> Hello. I'm clicking around, what happened? Talk to me, Fiona, what's going on? Shh. Fiona, you're, you're on mute, just like the Zooms. <laughs> okay, that's really tense, Fiona. I don't know if you're talking or not. Oh. I don't know. Okay, what is going on? Oh. Gina, talk to me, what is happening? I think everyone's gone. I think this is it, Kevin. Kevin, this is it. Oh no, is this where Fee goes down? This is B, where are you? Did you get an egg or not? Well, hold on, uh, Emma. No, you gotta stop matching on, did everybody, who has an egg? Who has an egg? Emma. I have an egg. <laughs> okay, I see Gerard has the egg. It looks like Austin is hiding as a bear. What is going on? Oh, Fiona, you're in trouble, girl. I think this is it for Fiona. I think this might be curtains on Miss Nova. <laughs> Fiona, if you didn't get an egg, you have to die. That's the rule. Can you, can you tell him to pull? Creed, do you have an egg? Uh, Fifi, no. Fifi, no. No, no, he's Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, Fiona. Fiona, no. 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 Fiona, Oh, no, Fiona, this does not end well for you. I'm sorry, hon. I, leg I legit have no idea if this is working at all. And I'm in it. Is it? Okay, are we gonna do one more? Oh, more than that. Okay, let's reset. Gina, talk to me. What is going on? What is the vibe up there? This is a vibe check. What's happening? 
It's terrifying, but I figured out. I figured it out, Kevin. The best place to hide is directly behind him. Oh, oh that's right. You are directly behind the executioner. <laughs> She is just straight up behind him right now. <laughs> what a dump. You know what? Kick him in the dumper and run. Go ahead, Gina. He does have a dumpy. Yeah, it's a pretty thick dumpy if you want to go. Oh, no, get out of there. Get out of there, Gina. Run, run. <laughs> All right, I'm switching to Kasim. Kasim, talk to me. Give me the play-by-play -play on the front lines. You've got two eggs. How are you feeling? Kevin. I hate seeing good people get taken down by a giant egg, but I think I'm safe. I'm hiding behind the snack cabinet. Okay, and what and about Fiona's hinge matches? It's one of the saddest things I've ever heard. Uh, I can't believe that this show is getting in the way of Fiona's love life. And uh, I will remember her and all the beautiful moments we shared together. But that was very right touching. Now, yes. very right touching. now, I've got to look out for me. That's it. Numero yeah, you do you. Uno, number one is roaming, and he is in your general area. I'm going to check in with uh, Creed. Oh, Talk to me, Creed. It looks like you witnessed Fiona's death there. You did nothing to help her. She was a lost cause. There's no reason for both of us to go down. <laughs> you said she was long gone? She was being dragged in real time. When you're in the airport, or in the airplane, and it starts going down, whose mask do you put on first, Kevin? Well, I think yours, but then you're supposed to try to help the other person, which oh, he's is He's running! Gina, he's running! Oh no, the Eggman's on you, Creed! Go! He's running! Stop! Gerard, do you have eyes on Creed? Oh. Gerard, are you okay? What's happening? Gerard is... Kevin, Kevin, I figured something out. He Why is he looking stairs. at me? Wait, can't Gerard, talk stairs. to me. What? He, he can't use stairs, Kevin. Gerard, you're, you're out of bounds. You're supposed no, to be upstairs. You don't understand. I'm not, I'm on the fringe. I'm hiding on the stair, waiting. All right, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the map because I'm gonna let our friends know. Gerard is on the stairs. Creed is running with a, a dummy head. The executioner is taking shots. Oh my God. But he missed, he missed. And the next safety basket of eggs is about to hatch, my friends, and the color is yellow. That's in the what? walkway. But that's where the executioner is. Okay, you see Kasim, Gina, and Gerard all in the same general area looking for the yellow balloon. Executioner seems to be deflating a little bit in real time. Yellow is by the snack machine, you fool! Yellow is by the snack machine. Yellow is by the snack machine, friends. I don't go, I don't go, I don't go, I don't go. Okay, and Gina and Kasim oh, running down the hall. Oh no, Gerard! Gerard's in the line of fire. <laughs> That man sang in an aquarium for our joy today, and now he is dead. Well, they completed the show. Okay, Cassim seems to be stalking. Talk to me, Cass. Kevin, I, uh, I got eyes on him. He's across the studio. I think his vision is perhaps only just a few feet in front of him because uh, I've managed to keep a good distance while keeping my eye on the next, what I think will be the next balloon. Unfortunately, he is making his way this way. Oh God. Uh, Kasim, are you concerned about your cardio? Because I do recall the balloon challenge that we had. Yes, Kevin. I yeah. am, uh, I've never been this winded on the clock. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is not a feeling I am comfortable with, Kevin. And I neither like are we. We can really hear the proper. heavy labored breathing, Kasim, please. No, I'm putting on, to get I'm together. acting, Kevin. Okay, friends. I have a Peloton. We are going to take a quick break when we come what? back. What? We have three what? A break? remaining what? in the studio. You guys just stay hidden. Don't die. We're going to find out who can take down the executioner when we come back. Woo! Welcome back, friends. 
I know we are cheering, but it is a tense time here in the studio because the egg hunters have become the egg hunted. And the remaining G4 hosts are unfortunately Earth's only hope right now in Executioner Egg Stream Egg Hunt Part 2. Just kidding, it's a graphic. Our hosts are being hunted by the executioner and the only thing keeping them alive are their precious safety eggs, which are located at various colored terminals. Now there are not enough eggs to keep them all alive and there will be only one host left to face off against this terrifying extraterrestrial in the final round. Three hosts are dead and no one can fault us for that actually. That's not our fault. We're not liable for that. We don't have the insurance. But let's check in with the living. Starting with you, Gina Darling. Tell me everything. Uh, I'm hiding behind this hand sanitizer right here. Okay. Figure it out. The next time Kasim comes near me, I'm going to trip him. And you think that's providing enough camouflage for you that the executioner's not going to notice? Shut up, Kevin. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I will shut up. Good luck to you, Gina. Austin Creed, where are you, good sir? I'm. I'm hiding in the back hallway. I'm on top of a ladder right next to the exit sign. I, okay. As long as I stay up, 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 I feel like I'm up in an attic. There's pipes up here. I think I'm, I'm going to be okay. And you know, judging by the helmet that the oh, executioner is I am muted. wearing, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm on a ladder. Creed. I'm in the back. Creed. You're an exit. Creed. I think I'm okay. Creed. I think I'm okay. Executioner I'm is like up, right there, bro. As I, Creed. I, no! No! Creed, no! 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 Creed, <laughs> don't, don't walk down no, the ladder slowly. No! No! Don't! 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 Wait, Creed, so we have a, I mean, we got a continuity issue here. Everybody just watched you die. Um, we played the egg tally, so I think you're out, buddy. I'm out, I just, I got wounded, he didn't touch me. Is this the multiverse? Yeah, no, Creed, you're dead, sorry, buddy. All right, so now, it's just down to, I know, not like this, but it has to be now. So now we're gonna check in with Kasim. What just happened, buddy? Kasim, talk to me. Oh my <laughs> God, Kevin. Oh, the executioner is above Creed now. I can confirm. Do we want to? Okay, he's just checking his handiwork. Okay, it's official. Sorry, sorry, chat. Creed is dead. Oh, did he just, what? That's not even a host. Oh, he's just on a murderous rampage now. I hope he's got enough ammo to finish the job. Kasim, where are you going to hide next? Kevin, I hate seeing these people go down. I am currently hiding behind three of these punchy, keepy, uppy things, and I can hear footsteps behind me, and part of me also wants to go get some hand sanitizer, but I think that has to wait, Kevin. No, I don't know. In these unprecedented times, Kasim, I think hygiene is very important. You might want to get some hand sanitizer and make sure you get it all over the forearm and your chin and your forehead. I'm, uh, I'm going to make an attempt. Okay, and I got a oh, breaking here. news, friends. It looks like the new batch of safety eggs have been released, and they are, in fact, the orange eggs. I got it. I got it. Head to the walkway, friends. Wait, avoid we don't have to run. Avoid the booth, avoid There's the two. AOTS table. It's just down to Kasim and Gina. They're both there. They got two eggs, okay. Yeah, no. Which means the sure. final basket of eggs are the blue eggs, and there's only gonna be one egg. Who's gonna get to the AOTS table first? It's a bad dash. I see the balloon. Kasim is running, it doesn't look nearly as good as it. No, I have it, Kevin. Kasim, no, no, no. No, we got to cut to poor Gina Darling's camera. You could see the executioner is still kind of over. Oh, no. Executioner's gone now. 
It's down to 1v1, friends. We only have one host left, and I'm being told that the pink eggs have hatched, and miraculously, they've turned into the only weapon that can kill the egg executioner. It doesn't make any sense, but nothing has until now, so let's just move the plot forward. Kasim, you gotta get to the pink eggs, buddy. I see a pink egg, I see, no, these are purple. Kevin, my yes. color blindness is affecting me. Uh, I would just look for any weapon you could throw at or around the executioner. I think it's like a bow and arrow or something. I vaguely paid attention in the read through. Yeah, that looks like an egg grenade. Has that been tossed? Well, it's empty, Kevin. Oh, Cass, you better move, buddy. You better move or you might get taken out. Cassim, go to the void. That's one of our conference rooms. I know you never check your, your company email, but you need to get to the void. It's not in the void, it's not in the void. Kasim! Kasim, the executioner is on your ass! I went to the void, I went to the wrong Check around void. the corner, check around the corner. Do you see oh, it? I found it, Yes, I found it. I saw that because I went to the bathroom earlier and noticed there was a basket there. <laughs> Thank the Lord. As you can see here, we have a full basket full of weapons, one of which is a grenade and some bow and arrows. Kasim, how are you gonna take out this executioner? He is, in fact, heading your way. I believe he is Kevin, going to the walkway now. Untied. My shoe's untied, Kevin. Oh, Kasim, there's no time for this. You might have to just lose the shoe, buddy. <sighs> and I have to get him with this grenade. Chat, one's if you think Kasim can do it, two if you think he's about to be executed. Oh, he's pulling the pin. Oh. He's using the teeth. Chat believes in you, Kasim. I can tell you that. There's very few. Okay, now there's a lot of twos in chat. They don't believe in you. At first they did. Okay, he's loading the bow and arrow. We see the executioner approaching. Those shoes look familiar. <laughs> he's a little deflated. Kasim, take him down. Oh no! Kasim, did that hurt you? He's using the corner for cover. Oh, that was a bonk. That was a bonk. And a grenade! That's what happens when you Easter spec it. No. Eat nerf! Is that? Is that the I'm not done, Kevin! Is that the coolest runaway and leap you can do, Cass? Were we pressed for time? <laughs> I thought that looked pretty cool, Kev. Okay, and it did. And guess what, Kasim? You just saved the studio, the show, all of chat, and it turns out, planet flipping Earth. Kasim G is our savior! Once again, not what I prefer, but I'm glad I could provide you guys with some entertainment. Oh, one I just second wanted, here, Kevin. Yeah, I just wanted to, you take your time. I want to linger on it, buddy. One second. Yeah, these things get jammed up, Kevin. Yeah, it happens all the time. These I mean, I think he's dead, in but, Russia. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, um, there, okay, that's, that is a coworker that you are shooting in the crotch. And I don't, I don't think we need it now. <laughs> Got some D1, everyone. Okay, let's move Kevin. on. Hey, that's it, we're out. We promised you we would try a thing, and we did. We did so we made good. Now you make good, and don't go away. We just saved the world for you. So we're gonna cool down and answer your questions right after this break. You stay right there. You know, there's a lot of videos on the internet. We show a lot of them all the time. And sometimes we reserve a, <clears throat> a very special one that, um... That's okay. oh, no. yeah. I think they, I think they got, it's, it's time, this is for Tiny Tina's Wonderland, by the way. Yeah. Oh, uh, did I just break the fourth wall? It's, uh, yeah, our friends at the Epic Game Store gave it. You, oh. If you haven't already put it in, you're probably too late. Yeah. That was the whole birds and the bees talk. <laughs> it's time for this week's epic fail. Woo! Epic fail. 
It's a grower, not the shower. Give it to me. Okay, yeah. Starting to look worse, Lube Chef. There's lots of chocolate. Oh God! Oh, it sounded like someone might have popped a champagne cork to celebrate. Uh, I'm just gonna take a peek back like here real quick will. and make sure everything. It's so unfiltered. None of the expensive, it's just so expensive raw. electronics are coated in chocolate right now. Oh everything God. is fine. We were you at home. We had a Chocolate. We sure did. And, and that uh, popping noise you heard was a chocolate exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Not planned. That feels like that was five years ago. Yeah. Right? yeah. That was, was that today? We were, yeah, we were like this big. So strange. Then we grew up. And then, then you had the birds and the bees talk with yeah. us, and here we are. Here we are. Hey. Every time we get to the cool down, it's like three months later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will's <laughs> laughter <laughs> sounds like angels giggling. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. It turns out everybody is okay. Okay. Uh, and that was not how the bit was planned. But no. Sometimes nope. things are gonna explode. It's magic of yeah. live TV, huh? I, uh, it was just one thing after another. First the pump exploding, then the pump exploding again. Yeah. And then Lube Chef having to save the bit because the chocolate isn't pouring out, so he had to take it. Yeah. Just like <laughs> rubbed it all over his face. It was supposed to be Shimmer. a cascade of chocolate. Yeah. We had a, a little kid's pool. We sure did. All the chocolate underneath. We got nowhere near that. No, God. <laughs> Um, now, I want to clarify something, because that was unplanned, and some people saw this massive execution or stunt, which, by the way, we did. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Right? Shout-outs yeah. shout outs to Peter. I was just, I don't know if he's, is he even in here now, or is he still? I think he's still. Yeah, I mean, hell Peter, of a job. Peter uh, did such a great job. This was all Peter. Everyone give all the love in the world to Peter, who, who really helmed this project. Everybody absolutely crushes it, every, like, week in and week out. Yeah. But, um, there it is. There he is. Yeah. You might remember him from such roles as Creepy Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's weird. Uncle Ted. Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. Well, great job. He kind of looks like your cat. No, 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 it doesn't at all. My cat's a Not cat. Yeah. Well, this is a guy. I think I'd know. He yeah. would know. Oh, no! Oh, 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 I'm oh. getting cat vibes. Yeah, just a little oh. bit of it. But here's the oh, thing. Sure. That bit was completely unscripted. And we had to film everybody's death scene as well as everybody's success scene because we didn't know who was going to win or how. Yeah. It was very real. We had a death scene for Kasim. Yeah. You survived. Congratulations. You were the hero. You yeah. saved the day. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see yeah. oh. that I want to see all of them. I want to see everybody's right. like success, too. So let's start with Kasim's death scene, if we have it. It's a shame that you'll never see it. Let's <laughs> that was really good. That was there was a little bit of editing in that, yeah, um, and that was all done also by Peter. So, Aww. well done. Yeah. That does it all. You should get him an After Effects tutorial. Uh, that was just in Premiere, actually. Wow, Ooh, that was that great. Good. It was a lot of uh, next frame. Next frame until midnight. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Robert Eggers? Your new editor is right now. <laughs> um, something, something overtime policy. All right, now, <laughs> we also had everybody record a victory saying of some sort, yes? Because yeah. uh, we yep. got to see Chasms. Who yes. wants to go for, who, who? Can we throw Wills up? He did so Oh, I Wills did was not so think Will was going out in the. <laughs> we always you just assume was? Will's going to win. You know what it was? I was on top of the. Frickin' vending machine. <laughs> so in the time it took me to get down safely, they all just grabbed the eggs. <laughs> all right, Done. Let's, let's see if we have uh, Will Nets victory. What's the matter? Can't take a yoke. Oh shit. P90X Tuck Jump. Yeah. Wow. A hump to get over. Yeah, I went froggy splash. On that was it. Just... <laughs> it's so good. Uh, Do you want to see yours? Yeah. Sure. Have my, you seen my it? My victory one? Yeah. Have you seen it? I saw it earlier, but I'd love to show it. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen any of them. Yeah, let's see. So if, let's queue up Gina's if we can. Whew. I'm exhausted. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yeah. 
elbow's coming. I mean, people's elbow. <laughs> 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 this was really stupid. <laughs> I like this bit a lot. I don't know what she's elbowing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Doesn't, matter. doesn't matter. It's for the just, people. It's, yeah. it's, I gotta it's, escape. It's, this ground is about to right. get it. Yeah. And Gerard specifically oh. asked if anyone had done the elbow. Yeah, draft. I was. I was gonna go full one. macho man, but I was told the elbow. Well, it's a good thing because you hurt your weight. It's yeah. true. I, this is a real uh, injury. Yeah. Well, so while we were running for the purple eggs, uh, my my shoes were still wet from the. Uh, <laughs> Aqua karaoke bit, and uh, I slid, I ate shit, landed in the egg basket, and the egg pack saved me as well as the egg basket. Oh my so. god, dude. I really, I thought that was a cell. Like no, when I, no, no, that was I a... full on ate it, Kevin. Okay, well, well, this guy really lays it on the line for the show. Every episode, <laughs> every, every episode, episode, the poor guy. Gosh, uh, we put you through the ringer. Had you won, we would have seen. Let's take a look. This. You yoke the wrong. Ah, time to scramble! <laughs> I had the, the extra explosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got double hit. A little late, but that was good. <laughs> time was to really scramble. Hey, <laughs> yeah. How do you think you did? Oh, well, you know, I was distracted. I have a lot of things on my plate. She's got a date tonight. Ooh. Did you get the swipe in? He's the winner here, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, you know, but I died. You did die, but yes. had you won? I would have gone on a date with Ava from Long, Long Beach. Beach. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Abe Lincoln. Yes, if I had won, Abe from I would Long have Beach. done this. Okay. It's time for me to get laid. The first time I leaped, I squeaked. That's it was, true. It's true. It was really cute. I was yeah. scared to jump, so I was you like, ah! Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> was adorable. Yeah. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Uh, okay. Uh, it was also recorded in slow motion, so yeah. it didn't sound Yeah, it did. Yeah. 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 Drop a book first before you sound. Yeah. Green? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to see. Can I see? Yeah, uh, 100%. We're all yeah. going to see, but how did you? I like my eggs. Unfurtled. No, 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 no! Oh! Yeah! Wow! That was really good. Great, bro. That was really good. I think these might be like my favorite thing that we've done. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much extra work yeah. put into it. That was good. And they're so ridiculous. Can, we need to do this all the time. Yeah. Well, the running was a lot. <laughs> Were there any cool deaths? <laughs> I, mean, I had a blast. It's fun. The running was a lot. I, it um, was a lot. You, you Can we do this but like stationary? Yeah. Can we do this but like less running? Without all the movement? Maybe it's there, just like at a bar with drinks. Mm. There, because this was so unscripted, um, I was like, oh, I'm under the desk. I really hope Peter knows to pull my leg yeah. <laughs> while I'm on the disco call. So I was asking, I was, ask, I was like, Hey, could you tell Peter to pull my leg? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull my leg, please. <laughs> also, she was not hiding. I was watching her the whole time, and you were talking to me, and I could see where she was, and I was like, I'm just gonna you know, draw this bit out, and maybe she'll pull get away. My leg. I walked over, I'm like, Fiona, just run, and she stayed. I had my leg out like she this. She was ready to go. I had my yeah. leg out like this. I was like, pull my leg. <laughs> Shining a flashlight on it, the laser Pull powder. my leg. <laughs> Should we see Kasim's uh, success again so we can just judge the jump together? As oh. A oh, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's watch that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we have it, we might as well. I know that was a lot. That's what happens when you Easter spec it. No. I don't think there's speed. By the way, that was my second jump? Um, Peter, can we get the raw video of that to release to the community yeah. in case they yes. want to put Kasim yes. into anything? Or actually everybody. Oh, why not? Also, uh, weirdly, Kasim's was the only one that was recorded for some reason in, in regular speed. Well, that's funny because <laughs> I did the first one in regular speed and, there, and I hurt my back. Yeah. And they said, uh, well, we didn't have it in slow-mo. Do it again. 
Uh, uh, so I thought I was getting it in slow mo. The second was so much better. <laughs> it, it was. Yeah. It was better. What was the effect that you had on the voice to make him scared, uh, sound like so scared and dorky? That's yeah. that raw talent, man. Oh. That was. Oh, so that wasn't like a. No, that wasn't oh, an effect. Because uh, you saw the Lady Gaga video where she was talking about Meisner and. Uh, Oh, yeah, 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 Stella That's, Adler. He was telling me all of that just before that moment. Oh, wow. And I was like, please just jump. So what were, <laughs> what were you channeling to sound like that? Guys? But he did it. Uh, eight, age zero to 38 yeah. that of my yeah. life. That tracks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to see the deaths. Because we all had a death. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get to see them? Oh, they played it for the, oh, uh, it. the audience at home. They get oh. To see it. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to right, watch right. the You're going to have to rewatch the show. Yeah. I'm too ashamed. <laughs> oh. But everybody, we're putting out the green screen version so people can do what they wish. I think we should. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. Let's do it. I don't care. Only doesn't look at the mail. Yeah. Put us in uh, an ambulance. Family father cares. Yeah. <laughs> also, just, if you put us in a bunch of scenes where explosions happen just yeah. like that, that'd yes. be cool. Movies, put us next to, you know, you know, Schwarzenegger, all that type of stuff. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You guys got it. Can I also say how proud I am of us? And I don't think we did this, but for not making a Robert Eggers joke. Oh. Oh. While he was here? Wow. That would have been disrespectful to our guests. <laughs> Absolutely, but I didn't know if we would be able to stay I'm, away from yeah. it. I was really proud that we almost got through the entire show without shining a light on that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> He's gone, Kevin. He's <laughs> never left. He He's on a plane he somewhere. He ran away. I saw him run. Very quickly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's our show. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on all the socials. Seriously, we friggin' need it. <laughs> that's not a joke. We really need it. Hit us up on our Discord. Check out our G4 TV Reddit. You can go to shop.g4tv.com for all the merch. There's a decanter set, which I think is sold out. Mm -hmm. We sold it out? Oh, we made two. Oh. It always sells. What, what else is on the site? Oh, shirt stuff. <laughs> Shirts, some merch. Uh, bongo cat. And we would love to see you guys rocking it when you come and visit us at PAX. Hey! Yeah, we're going to PAX next week. We'll I got a thing, there. but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, great. The preservation of original Sonic Poos. Don't forget Poos. Keep it. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up to the Poos in chat. All my yeah. Poosies in chat. Get some Poosies. Poos enthusiasts. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, don't forget to send us mail. Woo! Because we do open it. Someone sent us. I can't. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, whatever. We'll we'll get to it. You'll see it. Is that it? Are we done? Do we do the thing? Yeah. yeah. We did the show, Kevin. <laughs> Vibe check on Tuesday. Okay, great. We'll see you then. And uh, on three, uh, everyone. One, two, one, two, one, two three. three. Ooh. We didn't answer their questions at all. Oh, all right. Here we go. Space Jam DVD, 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 All right. Space Jam DVD.